What are you gonna do with this? It's now you have to put it together. Banna and Mo are deep into the wedding weeds. We're all kind of out of luck, huh? Yeah. We're taking a yacht? Wait, wait, hello? And they're getting hit from all sides. You have so many things that you haven't done yet. This is your wedding, man. Don't tell me you can't plan. What are you doing? Nothing. Can Jane safely guide this wedding back to shore? I am speechless. When it comes to the guest list, I can get that done by tomorrow. Consider that done. But that's what you said I, yesterday, and today's I'm today, and you still don't have it done. I'm a busy, busy, busy guy. This is how I operate. What attracted me to Mohammed is his personality. He always makes me laugh. He listens. Yes, I did a lot of listening, because she was doing a lot of yapping. <laughs> <laughs> Banna and Mo may be in love. She got the package. I mean, this girl's loaded in so many different levels. I mean. <laughs> but when it comes to their wedding, they're up sh creek. You want to get married on water. Yeah. What I'd love to have is that the beautiful yacht to have the wedding ceremony in there as well. Lovely. Problem is, you need to actually book these things. The wedding is in nine days and far from being watertight. I've got a lot of projects to do myself. I'm planning to do the bombonniers. I'm planning to do the flowers. But Mo isn't about to let Banna do anything by herself. If it's part of the wedding, I got to be involved. He can be picky sometimes. His pickiness goes well beyond flowers and centerpieces. I'm not allowed to see the wedding dress, and I'm pissed off about that. Mom, what you looking for? Again? Nothing. I'm not letting him, so it's, he's going to have to wait and be surprised on the wedding day. I'm just afraid that the, the dress might not be, might not complement her body the way I want it to complement her body. Wow. I don't know how I'm going to see the wedding dress, but I really do want to see the wedding dress one way or another. Whatever you say, Mo, but don't you have some real issues to contend with? Can you tell me, please, what you did today? Or can you explain to me? I mean, we got the banquet hall, we got the DJ almost. You say, I'm OK, don't worry, Mom. And now you say the last minute. Mom, like, oh. that's just stressing me out for no apparent reason. I usually take my sweet time around things. But you don't have time. <laughs> How many days? <laughs> Whose wedding is this? Like, this wedding supposed to be this stressful? We have yeah. 300 guests coming. Are we are ready. want to make sure everything's mm. perfect. Let's get it out of the way instead of Mr. I know it all. I could do it all on my own. We can't go in your mind, Mo. We can't see your imagination. But nothing's ever been put down on a piece of paper. Yep. He doesn't know how to ask for help or, uh, Ask somebody else to do anything for him. <laughs> when I want something, I put it right here, and it comes it together, done. right? OK. Yeah. And in my mind, the wedding is done. I mean, we look very calm, collective, well put together. But then we're panicking. I can tell you that much. Well, sir, you won't fool Jane Deus Hinge. Enter your wedding planner slash fairy godmother, who will grant you three wishes to save this sinking ship. Hello, Hello Jane. Hello. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, How are you, too. Jane? I'm good. Good. Thank you. And what a beautiful venue. Well, thank, thank you. you yeah. So tell me about your wedding and why am I here? We are very much last minute people and uh, we've always gotten away with it. And this time, and it's but, not happening. Uh, reality is catching up with yeah. you fast. It's hitting yes, us it left is. and right. So I what mean, culture are we talking? I'm Somalian. And okay. I'm Iraqi. Right. And she's Iraqi. Wow. Shall we start at the top? Have you got someone to marry you? Have you got your officiant? No. No. Great start. <laughs> So tell me what you've organized, what you, you've ha actually got, and then I'll know what we've still got left to do. Got my dress. You've got your dress. Fantastic. Uh, Which I haven't seen yet. That's no, another problem. No, you won't problem. see. You won't see. Why would you want to see a dress? Because I'd like to know what the dress looks like. No, that's know, your surprise. I, I just wanted to He wants to see it, but he won't. So. Look at it. He's not going to see the dress. No. What are you having on your tables? Uh, we're having a, an aquarium, like a, a long vase with fish. Fish. Yeah. Fish. A bit of fish. Fighters. Fighting fish. Mm -hmm. And how many fish are in each? One. One? One fish? Yeah. Oh, we're going to have two. Where did you come with you this can. one fish? It's a fighter fish. They will kill each other by the end well, of the night. Were you planning to tell me about this or the day off I was going to walk in and just see you one fish that you don't fight. see? I have one at home. It's constantly trying so to kill the other So why don't you get the one. ones that don't fight? But they don't look good. We need dark purple. I don't know what to do, because everything is the issue to you now. But right? it's cute. They are on planet Barna and Mo. They think they have a wedding? We don't have any limo, nothing no like limo. that. We yes. come in, in our car. What are you talking about? We're taking a yacht. I mean, to go to We're the yacht. We're taking a yacht? Wait, wait, hello? This is the whole Is this thing. booked? 
Uh, no. No. Anybody else feeling sick? Because I'm feeling really seasick. Boats, water. Uh, we want a grand entrance. No, no normal stuff. No, no normal stuff. Yes, yes. So what if you got booked? That's not normal. Uh... But we're kind of doing everything ourselves at this point. Yeah, I think we're doing What? That. Yeah. What are you doing? Nothing. You're talking about it, yeah. but there's no action. Do you know the best thing you did? Yes. Was ring me. <laughs> Come with me. And who's on your side? Follow the leader. This wedding? At the moment, there isn't a wedding. I want this to be the wedding of your dreams, because at the moment, it is a dream. That's right. This yacht that you want, You've got to go and book it because you want it for next Friday. Have you got your rings? Ah, uh, that's another issue on that because I don't want to wear one. But if we have to, I get one of those little cheap ones. You don't want to wear a ring. Why? Just putting a ring on my finger, right? This just feels weird. To me, in a way. <laughs> Does it worry you, Anna? Not <clears throat> really, but I'm gonna get him one anyway. And I think he will wear it. I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm last in this wedding. I can tell you that much. <laughs> You'd make I mean, best. I have... <laughs> so you arrive in your beautiful dress that he hasn't seen. You're talking about a grand entrance. Mm -hmm. What is this grand entrance? Elaborate mm -hmm. Arabic dancers. We want drums, drummers. We want Sword um, dance. swords and. And there's this folk style Egyptian dance. And we want a pony and a rocket ship and a sparkly rainbow. Do you realize how bad it is? Yeah. I, I don't want to look at this thing anymore. <laughs> I'm actually a fairy godmother. Mm. Oh. These are your salvation, Mo. <laughs> sure you don't have more in the back? Because it looks... No. There are your three wishes. It's action time now. It's going to be an exhausting week. I'm shocked. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. We have lots to do. I don't think we have uh, been doing enough. Have they ever heard of the Titanic? So in an effort to right this shaky vessel, this couple set out to sea to find their yacht for their wedding ceremony. There's nobody, this whole, there's nobody here in this whole place. Know, maybe this guy knows the wedding. Huh? Hey, buddy, how you doing, man? All right. Yeah, man, we're looking to right. get a yacht or rent a yacht. How do you go? How do you do this stuff, man? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, these are all private charters. In a way, we, we're all kind of out of luck, huh? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, thanks, buddy. We, we need to call Jane. There's nothing else. Why would they have yachts in here if nobody's around, man? Hello. Hello, Jane. We're looking at yachts, but we don't know how to get one. So can you please help us out? Is this your wish? This is a wish, yes, definitely. It has to be a wish. Please make it a wish. OK, Mo, leave that one with me. It's going to need more than a boat to keep this wedding afloat. It's only seven days until the wedding, so Banna and her bridesmaids wade through last-minute details. We finally got the dress in. And my dress so doesn't nice. fit. It's okay. We can maybe I can alter it myself for you. Okay, so we still have the chair covers. Oh, we'll go do that tomorrow. My friends are worried that I'm not more stressed out because I should be because I haven't got a lot of things done. Did you I book a makeup artist? No, I'm doing myself. I'm having yeah. a panic attack, and she hasn't done anything no, yet. No, I'm doing myself. I found this picture, and I think I'm gonna just copy it and see if I can. Just just I have the song list. I just need you to tell me what song you want to walk in on. I want to, Oh, that's another story because you have to organize for the big entrance. I'm starting to freak out because you have so many things that you haven't done yet. I'm a last minute person and I always get stuff done at the end. And I'm sure I'll get it done. Sure you will, Banna. Meanwhile, Jane's made a promise to find a boat, so this fairy godmother slaps on her sea legs. It is common knowledge that I just go a funny colour when we're on boats? Is it just going to be me that has a new shade of green in this water theme? Jane, how are you? I'm it's so good. great to see you. It's been a while. It has, hasn't it? Yes. I've got a bit of a problem, Sophie. I've got a couple who have a water theme for their wedding. Great. They wanted to get married on a boat. Mm -hmm. uh, I know this is what you do. And what is this for? Friday. Pardon me? <laughs> Pardon me. A wedding on Friday. Oh, my gosh. It's a busy weekend for uh -huh. us. Everybody, everybody, Sophie, is booked up. I'll go back to the office, see what the schedule looks like, see if I can do some finagling. I will try my best to see what I can do, and I'll get back to you. Don't take your life jackets off yet. So while Jane keeps her fingers crossed for a boat, Mo goes hunting for a wedding dress. Mo! 
I'm running out of places to hide my wedding dress because I'm still worried about how it's gonna look on me for the day and he doesn't want it to be a bad surprise, although I promised him it won't. I don't know, maybe I'll go spend that extra money and go get the dress, uh, dress someone else up and uh, get the dress that I like for her to wear. Great idea, Mo, especially since you have nothing else to do for this wedding. Nothing like shoving candies into hundreds of little boxes. But how are you supposed to close this box? Here, I'll show you. <laughs> you have it upside down. Like this. Oh, OK. And in fact, Banna's family can think of a lot more wedding stuff that needs attention. Who's doing the uh, Zephyr? Uh, we have to hire people. Well, so you, you haven't done, done that yet? No. So <laughs> why will you do that? Are you serious? The big thing is the Zephyr banner. You have to have the Zephyr. I mean, you should have planned that before anything else, before this stuff. I didn't sleep a few nights just thinking about it. Oh, poor you. Yes. Well, yeah. you didn't have to lose sleep. You open the phone book and look for the entertainment stuff. I and said then call I, the people in. I did call a few people. This is where I blame her. But nothing's worked. To me, stuff? it's like a wedding could be done in three days, and that's what I thought. Are you OK? I want to tell you, if you had planned this when I told you guys, have you got this, have you got that, and you say, yeah, 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 it will happen, it's my head. Your head needs to come out. OK, put it this way. When it comes to planning and all this stuff. Uh-huh. Don't tell me you can't plan. Look, Mohammed, this is your wedding, man, once in your lifetime. Don't trust me out even more, please. You need to make arrangements. Like, it's not a difficult thing. Call your wedding planner. She will help with this stuff. Look, and I'm not dancing in your wedding for the entrance, I'm telling you. OK, That's... everybody quiet. What, what are you doing? I'm calling Jane. I think this is my only hope to have the grand entrance that I want for this wedding. Didn't you ask The for grand entrance that we want. We. Yeah, yeah, Mo, relax. It's cool. Hello. Uh, I need your help. So what's your wish? OK, it's called a Zephyr, and that's exactly what we need. We need to organize a Middle Eastern Zephyr. No problem. You can do that for me? I've got to create a spectacular entrance for their reception. We actually got it. We got it? Are you serious? They do it for you? Oh, oh high five. High five. High five. With four days to go, Jane makes an entrance of her own and bellies up to the bar for wish two. Yes, Mina, does the Zephyr entrance with style. Because the family and friends, they're not actually there at the wedding. Mm -hmm. The entrance, that's the first time all the family and friends see them as a married couple, and it's everything to them. There's different kinds of zephyrs we can do, but uh, one of the most popular is with Shamadan. It causes lots of excitement, and it's very dramatic when the doors open and all those candles are there. That's what I need. That's what I need. The only thing, Yasmina, is it's Friday. This Friday. This Friday. Oh. I know, I do this to everybody <laughs> all the time. What it can do is we'll be there before 8, get ready. The latest we have to go on is 8.30. OK. Because we have a show downtown at our nightclub, and so I have to get all the girls down there. We can't stay any later than 9 o'clock. OK. That's OK? That's yeah. it. That's the restrictions we're working to, and that's okay. what we're going to do. Now, it's all about the timing. Yes, timing and jiggling. So worry about your legs. Your hips will do it all by themselves. Let all of this go <laughs> completely. Oh, I can do that. Just get those legs going. Very good. Yeah? Yeah, you have a very nice shimmy there. If one of the dancers doesn't show up, I could always stand in. <laughs> Even with Jane on Zephyr detail, things aren't coming up roses at Banna and Mo's house. What the heck is this? <laughs> I'm making my own bouquet for the wedding. What's wrong with that? You don't like it? You're joking, right? I, I mean, I see flowers. I see all this stuff. Like, what is this? What am I going to do with this? What are you going to do with this? It's now you have to put it together. Yeah, and then you put a ribbon. Look, I have a ribbon. I don't want to say that she's pissing me off, but she's pissing me off. <laughs> Because she wants to do everything herself. Yes, There's no time, Bana. What's the matter with you? This is not what's going to happen. I don't like the way it looks. OK. okay. Um, if you think you can do better, be my guess. I will. So Mo brings his wedding work to work and calls a florist. Or two, or three. So what are you saying, miss? There's no purple at all? Thank you. Bye. It's for a wedding on this Friday. Special order? OK, bye-bye. But since time is running out, Mo puts his pedals to the metal and calls Jane. Can I just take this? Sorry. Of course. Hello. 
Hi, love. I've been calling all over the place for those flowers, for the bouquets and all that stuff, and um, I'm having a hard time to to get hold of anybody that can help me out. So what do you want me to do? Jane, this definitely is a wish because uh, I had it. Well, we'll have to go to a florist. We'll have to go together. All right, Jane, I'm at my shop. Well, let me just finish having my hair done and I'll be over. Can't even have my hair done in peace. It's OK, you need the attention, please. They all need you, please. <laughs> You're Jane. They all need Jane. But Jane needs shoes. Welcome to my store. Before we go flower shopping, do you have these in my size? Ah! <laughs> I feel an expense coming on. Ooh! I will never pick the shoes on you. You know, you have the red carpet, you're gonna get the full service. You can wrap these up. You surprised me, but I'm sure you can pull that off. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So, you ready to go and choose some flowers? Jane, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> And so with days to spare, Jane brings Mo to show off some flower power. Well, this is a little different. We don't normally have the grooms in looking for flowers, so this is a nice surprise. My fiance was freaking me out because she wanted to do everything herself. I'm not having it. OK, so let's pull a few things together, Mo, and maybe something in a, a lavender-type rose, accenting with a little bit of the uh, dark black calla. That's what I was thinking. OK. Every little thing, all the details have to look good. This is the way I see it. Maybe, you know, one of this, dark purple. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you, Lisa. Saves the day again. You're really helpful, and I'll take five of those. Five please. of those. Five of those. <laughs> as quick as that. Get it done. <laughs> I thank God Jane brought me to this flower shop, and I'm sure Bonnie's going to love it. But no sooner than Mo has a handle on the flowers, he loses his grip on reality and goes shopping for... A dress. How about something like that? I don't mind. I'll spend thousand dollars, two thousand dollars if if I have to 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 get the dress. Make sure that it is what I uh, hope to be. It's kind of getting to where I want it to be. I think I want to call her just to ask like what size she sure. wears. Sure. No problem. I don't want it to know that I'm getting the dress for her. Okay. Backup dress. Okay. Because <laughs> the first one messes up. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Banna and Mo's wedding was not of this world. In my mind, the wedding is done. They are on planet Banna and Mo. But Captain Jane brought it back down to Earth with three wedding wishes. It's action time now. Wish One brought Jane out on the water to find the couple a boat for the ceremony. It's a very busy weekend for us. I will try my best. Wish Two had Jane shaking her hips and crossing her fingers for a grand entrance for the reception. That's the first time all the family and friends see them as a married couple, and it's everything to them. For Wish Three, Jane and Mo sniffed out some flowers for the bridal bouquets. I'll take five of those. As quick as that. Get it done. <laughs> Maybe you can tell me the size. But thankfully, Mo, who is very picky about his bride's dress, had no such luck finding one for her himself. <sighs> I tried to trick her, but it's not. Uh, she not giving me the size. I don't know what to. Uh, I, see. I, I don't know what to say. Well, to be honest, buying a wedding dress without the exact size, it's impossible. Okay. Thank good you. luck. Okay. Need that. Lucky for you, Mo, today is the wedding day, and you won't have to wait to see Banna's dress any longer. He's going to love this dress. He better. He better. Oh, my god. Oh. Wow. Lee, 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 lee. I love you even more, if that's possible. I don't know. Sexy. You look so beautiful. And uh, sorry for doubting you. I love you. Oh. That white dress is going to go so well with sparkly blue water. Oh my god. Did we get a boat wish or why? Isn't that exactly what you wanted? Everything is coming together. And coming up roses. These are the flowers that Mo picked. They're so beautiful. Wherever there's a camera, point your flowers to the camera. The colors were perfect. It went with every single purple shade that we had in the wedding party. Yeah, I couldn't have done that. Uh. No. <laughs> he was right for once. <laughs> Yacht, flowers, how does Jane top it all off? By making the couple's intimate ceremony extra special and officiating it herself. Bana and Mohammed, today we celebrate not just in the joy of your wedding vows, but in the true happiness we wish for you in the years to come. Bana, I'm promising to be faithful and honest, to give you encouragement, strength, and trust. I'm promising to walk you through all your tomorrows, and I love you. 
I'm promising from this day forward to be faithful and honest with you, to give you encouragement, strength, trust, to walk with you throughout all your tomorrows. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Mohammed, with this ring, I symbolize my love and my commitment to you. Okay, I'll help. <laughs> sure it doesn't want to go on, does it? Yeah, I don't think it wants to go on. <laughs> You're my strength. So beautiful. Thank you, love. We celebrate your commitment. We honor and respect your union. May I strongly suggest that you kiss the bride. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Well, go and enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Captain, start the engine. You're the best, So there's a happy couple just married and on their dream boat. I've now got to go and check on this reception and that grand entrance. While the couple and their wedding party rock the boat, Jane sets the reception in stone. I had the feeling that the DJ was going to be That's in the what DJ they told me. Oh, I was sitting up there and he sent me down, yeah. I'll go and see the technician. No Let me take care of the DJ. I'll get a couple of people on that. I'll pull the you. chef. Let's see if we can get the cake table done before you guys do the walking. OK? Care and attention. Nothing like it. All the players are in place, so Jane collects her seafaring bridal party. I think we've had a lovely time. But before they make their grand entrance, it's time for a grand photo opportunity. That's the shot. The pictures alone that we're going to have is unheard of. Hi, Yasmina. How are you? I'll be with the DJ, OK? You're going with the DJ? Yeah. OK? okay. I'll go and line everyone up then. OK. Thank See you. Up there. Bye. It's now time to make your grand entrance. The dancers are ready. This is what you wanted. Yes. I thought everything was going to be on fire for a minute. It was hot. <laughs> they put the wedding on fire. I felt, I'm sure you did, uh -huh. king and a queen Yeah. in the Middle East. That's the chairs right. that we're sitting on, That's the dancers right. walking in, doing all these different dances. They got the wow factor, and the couple, well, they got the entrance and the welcome that they deserve. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm a fairy godmother. I know I help them put together the day of their dreams. Jane is unbelievable. Everything she did, she, she did with a smile, genuine smile. I'm not talking about, like, this yeah. work. I mean, she, she was so genuine. This wedding of lifetime. I will never forget this. Yeah. I'll never forget Jane. I will never forget you, because I love you. <laughs> Fishy, fishy. The role of a wedding planner is to make sure that all the centerpieces stay alive. Hey, can